The Ronga Mountain Namibia. Now, this is a very interesting form of the tourmaline. Uh, now, uh, uh, comfortably, I always say shoal tourmaline, but in this case, it may be foitite. What I do find, however, when I when I light, uh, when I shine a strong light onto these uh, sections of tourmaline, this particular kind of the tourmaline, which, uh, looking at the end term uh, termination, there one may think we're looking at foitite. Uh, it's actually got multiple colors, so albaite tourmaline may be the more uh, uh, usable term. Albaite, of course, being a mixture of colors. Perched on a feldspar matrix, we have the tourmaline crystal sitting over there, so the bend star would be hidden under this feldspar formation. Then we have another crystal jutting out from the main crystal across here. Then when we look across the top crystallization there as well, Lovely, lovely form. Size-wise, we're looking at about two inches edge to edge across, maybe just under two inches. Width-wise, just over an inch. All the way from the Ronga Mountain in Namibia. In this case, I think we're looking at the, the likes of Alba tourmaline. Very, very aesthetic piece. Of course, bright, lustrous tourmaline. And have a look at the fine details on these faces. Let me just zoom in a little bit on that. Have a look at the fine crystalline detail on these on these faces as well, and here it's almost like little, uh, uh, well, thicker tourmaline needles compacted together.